Hello everyone, I'm Sandra Cepak and welcome to our Ventura TV. Our guests today on the show are from Ventura Kiwanis and we'd like to welcome Brad Dykes. He is the president of Kiwanis here in Ventura County and Bart Bluell. He is the past president and current member Correct. of Kiwanis here in Ventura. Thank you both for joining us on the show today. Thank you. Uh, Brad, let's start with you. I'd mm -hmm. like to hear a little bit of the background of Kiwanis and all that they do here in Ventura for many of the children here, of course. Well, sure. Kiwanis started in Ventura mm -hmm. in 1925. Okay. Bart, of course, is one of our founding members. Okay. Get that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> the Kiwanis mission is serving the children of the world. It's mm -hmm. an international service organization. And so, of course, the Ventura Kiwanis mission is serving the children of Ventura. Mm -hmm. So we're involved in the schools, the high schools, the middle schools. We're involved with vulnerable adults. Mm -hmm. And we do two things, really. We raise money for the community and we invest that money or spend it back in the community, mostly to help children. Okay, good. Yeah. Uh, Bart, let's um, have you give us a little background on the Kiwanis mission and what they're all about. Okay, well, we're called a service club. Mm -hmm. uh, so are other clubs called service clubs, but yes. we take the word service very seriously. Okay. Uh, we try to emphasize that over raising money, although we try to raise money as well. Mm -hmm. um, and so uh, our mission basically is to serve the children of the Ventura community and the vulnerable adults okay. in Ventura community. Okay, good. Um, Brad, let's uh, talk a little bit more about some of the things that Kiwanis is involved with at the local level here in Ventura. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the events and programs that they have. Let's start off with like programs for kids. Uh, mm -hmm. Can you go into that a little bit more? Well, sure. Um, I don't know about you, but when I was in high school, there was a key club. Was there a key club in your high school, Sandra? Yeah, there were a lot of clubs and, you know, they were popular, yeah. but I, I would, you know, really like to see more involvement for, for kids now. Right. So if you were in a key club or if your kids are in a key club, mm -hmm. that's Kiwanis. Okay. So those clubs are self-run by the students, but Kiwanis members volunteer and act as advisors to oh, those clubs. Okay. We help the kids structure their student government within mm -hmm. the club. We help them raise money. We get them involved in service projects. We mm -hmm. teach them about community service and volunteering, and we're really just there to advise and to help. So we're in all the Ventura area high schools, and some of the middle schools. And three years ago, we started a new club at, at Ventura College mm. uh, called Circle K that now has 27 members. So we're doing okay. some good work there too. So it, you know, the, the, the idea is to teach these kids about community service, to get mm -hmm. them out of themselves. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a very important that they learn that early on because Otherwise, if you become just self-centered, it, it really is kind right, of Right, I think there's a good message for kids of all ages to learn that and, and to develop those skills early on mm -hmm. while they're still in school, so they carry that into adulthood, too. Yes. And we find that, and we do have uh, Juana Maria as our, our youngest group, that's the elementary school. Okay. You know, we're much, very much hands-on there. Mm -hmm. You get to the middle school area, we're still hands-on, but they're more involved. Okay. And you get to the high school age, and we kind of stand up against the wall and say, okay, run it. Yeah, okay. And then Circle K, I mean, right. <laughs> they're doing a better job than we are with our own club. Really? I mean, they're, they're really good. That's great. Um, Tell us about the funding for the organization, because I would imagine this is going to take a little bit of money to get this up and running and going with many of the schools. Yeah, it does. So a big part of what we do is raising money. We have mm -hmm. uh, one big main annual fundraiser that's typically in the summer months that's, okay. that's a bike ride. It's called the Cool Breeze Bike Ride. Bart's been really involved in that over the years, and maybe you want to talk a little bit more about okay. that, Bart. Yeah, so Cobra Century is basically our sole fundraiser. Okay, we have okay. dues and we have other things that come up, but this is this is the big one. Okay. And uh, at one time we had two thousand riders. Uh, over the years, that's gravitated down to about a thousand riders. Mm -hmm. We have five different rides. It takes, uh, it, from my perspective as the chairman, as a, I'm a ride director, the chairman of the ride. Okay. Uh, from Kiwanis, from the Kiwanis family, including the high schools, I have to uh, stage about 109 four-hour slots with a club that has about 35 active members. Mm -hmm. So it takes a lot of effort. Everybody pitches in, and we get it done every year. So it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a lot of fun to put that on, but it's a, it's a big endeavor, and all, we don't, unfortunately, we have not gotten into the, the realm of sponsorships for it. So okay. all the funds from it come from the writers themselves. Right. Because a lot of this takes so much money to uh, enable the kids to have these clubs and to be a part of that. And so I'm sure that the fundraising effort on Kiwanis is extremely important. 
It is, you know, Senator, we also count on, uh, to some extent, we mm -hmm. hope for, I should say, gifts from the community, mm -hmm. gifts from some local businesses that we've had sponsor some of our events over Good. the years, mm -hmm. and gifts from our members. Mm -hmm. You know, for example, when the Thomas fires affected our community a year oh. ago, uh, we saw a real need in people that were perhaps, you know, some of the lower income folks in the community, maybe people who were renters, okay. um, who didn't have the means of maybe a homeowner who really needed a meal the next day and a yeah. roof over their head and didn't have the insurance. So we raised about $8,000 in a couple of weeks and distributed it to some of the teachers to help the community in that way. That's great. And that was really just all gifts from members mm -hmm. of our club that, that okay. dug a little bit deeper in a time of need. Let's talk about membership. Mm -hmm. How does somebody become a member of Kiwanis? Are there... You got that mirror? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are there things that you have to have uh, in your background to qualify to be a part of the organization? Or can business people just be a part of it? How do you join? Yeah, it's a great question. Bart's been our membership, uh, what should I say, uh, director, if, okay. you will, if you will, for years. Good. Um, but really what you need is you need, you need a, a, a soul for, for giving. Mm -hmm. um, we ask people, do you want to help your community? And do you care about kids? Yes. And if you do, we don't need a lot of money from folks. I mean, the dues are seventy-two dollars a month, and you get that includes meals. And you get four. Nice. You get four free lunches. So where do you get four lunches for seventy bucks? So really, that's just to come. Okay. What we really ask folks to do once they're involved is volunteer mm -hmm. and to help kids. Right. So you ask what you need to be a Kiwanian. You need a heart for giving, mm -hmm. and you need a little bit of time, um, and you want to help kids. Yeah, I might say that. I would say probably at least 50%, if not 90% of our membership came to Kiwanis because they have business reasons for doing it. They okay. want more exposure for their business. Mm -hmm. That's not why they stay. Right. Okay, Those who stay, stay quite frankly for the fellowship. I mean, it's amazing how in this club, uh, the, everybody seems to like each other. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm not sure that's true of every club, but in this <laughs> club we have a lot of fun, we right. like each other. And uh, so you stay for the fellowship and for the service because the service is, is significant. Mm -hmm. Some of our members just come to lunch on Fridays. Others get very involved. Mm -hmm. My wife is extremely involved in this club. She joined so she could have lunch with me because I was working too hard at the time. <laughs> but uh, you know, she, she, she's got things going on right now. Okay. So it, again, you, you join for various reasons, but usually you stay for the fellowship and the service. Right. But of course, the main focus is the children. So mm -hmm. let's get into a little bit of uh, some of the activities that go on throughout the year. Mm -hmm. um, you also have other events, uh, Festival of Talent, which mm -hmm. is a really big event here, which is involving the school, Ventura County School System as well. Let's talk about that too. Yeah, it is. So Festival of Talent is an event put on by Ventura Unified School District, yes. uh, a talent show for people involved in the school district. It has okay. a lot of the kids involved and some of the parents and teachers as well. Mm -hmm. And we're involved in that. And that's actually an area where we give. We okay. give two things. We give money to the event as a sponsor. Nice. Uh, so some of the money that we raise through things like Cool Breeze. And we provide a lot of volunteers. Mm -hmm. BART coordinates that event as well. And uh, So 18 years ago, Trudy Arriaga was coming in as the... Uh, the, the uh, superintendent of the district and mm -hmm. she says well we have to get a fundraiser going because she was going to take Ventura Education Partnership okay. to an all-volunteer force so she suggested a talent show and I I said you know I, I can be a chair of that I'll do that <laughs> and I, I'm thinking okay I'll do that we'll, we'll, we'll put it on for five years it'll go its own way it's in its 18th year right and I tried to get out of it at the end of five years and somehow it didn't happen and now I'm still the chair 18 years later it is an involved process. We have professional directors. You know, mm -hmm. Brian McDonald was our director for 10 years, and then okay. he stepped out last year. Now we have Bev and Kirby Ward as our directors. And we have uh, professional sound, professional lights. Right, it's a big so, event. It's a big event, and yeah. it's very professionally done. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's the next best thing you can get to professional, keeping in mind that most of us kids, there's some adults, but right. most of the kids, and it's all from the Ventura Unified School District, mm -hmm. they have to have some connection. Okay. I stretch that as far as I possibly can. But, and again, volunteers, it takes mm -hmm. about 50 volunteers mm -hmm. to make that thing run. Okay. And Qantas provides that. That's nice. So you can see, Sandra, why we call him the soul of the club. <laughs> he's involved yes. in everything, and he has been for years, and in particular, he's a great recruiter. You know, he That's brought good. me to the club, in fact, a few years ago. Well, I was, you did I was, good. I was out good. for money, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> also, we want to talk about Officer of the Year and Firefighter mm -hmm. of the Year, another two uh, events that you're a part of. 
Yeah, those are two important and really fun events. So mm -hmm. I actually have chaired the Officer of the Year event for the last four years, and Bart recruited me into that one okay. year and said, hey, you ought to do this. It'll be really easy, and right. once you get involved, you want to stay involved. So we honor the Officer of the, of the Year as chosen by each agency of the 15 law enforcement agencies okay. in Ventura County. Last year we had about 170 people attend and about, I'd say half of them are uniformed uh, law enforcement officers, either the sheriffs or the police department. Okay. Some of the command staff, a number of the chiefs and commanders attend and present the awards to their officers. Mm -hmm. And that's another event where we're not, uh, where we're spending the money that we raise mm -hmm. and we invite these folks and buy them dinner and thank them for their service to us. Okay. Likewise with firefighter and hero uh, event, we bring the firefighters of the year as selected by uh, their commanders and honor them at a luncheon. That's great. That's yeah. great. I want to talk about a, a really nice organization that has also joined us on the show um, where you have Ventura County Farm Day mm. with SEAG, which is a wonderful organization for kids that learn so much about what's going out on the farm and mm -hmm. farm to table food, uh, all those interesting things that come together. Let's talk about the involvement with Kiwanis there. This is relatively new for us. We just started last year, and mm -hmm. then there's this year, and uh, it's really Brad's relationship with the organization that's gotten us involved. Mm -hmm. Right. It's CIGA Students for Eco Education and Agriculture, founded yes. by, as you know, Mary Marinville. And yes. Effectively, their mission is to teaching kids where the food comes from. Right. And hint, it's it's not actually the grocery store. That's right. And so Mary reaches thousands of, of yes. fourth graders, elementary age kids each year. And right. so it was a fit for us, and we could provide volunteers for her annual event, which is the first Saturday mm -hmm. in, in November, okay. typically. And we provided volunteers out at 20 farms who open their doors to the public and teach the public and kids, where does your food come from? Right. So because it's reaching kids and that's our mission, we partnered with, with Mary and provided volunteers for her event. And it is, it's such an important thing for, mm -hmm. for kids to learn so much more about. What would both of you like to see in the future for Kiwanis? Hmm. Let's start with you. Yeah. Um, we always need more members. Okay. You know, people are busy today. Mm -hmm. And so we give people two different opportunities to be part of Kiwanis. Okay. Um, one is our Friday meeting. We meet every Friday at Point, Point Set of Pavilion at noon. Okay. And we have lunch. We have lunch and fellowship. You get to meet a lot of nice people and people with good hearts and giving hearts and ideally people of like mind. Mm -hmm. People who are in business that may become business associates or contacts. Bart mm -hmm. and I do business together as I do with a number of other members. Good. So that's one uh, way to get involved. But we recognize mm -hmm. people are busy and not everybody can carve an hour out of their day or an hour and a half out of their day every Friday. Okay. So we also have some members uh, who meet at what we call Kiwanis After Dark. And that's a once a month on the third Thursday of every month mm -hmm. event. We meet at different places, sometimes at a local bar or restaurant. We have game nights, but the same kind of thing. We talk about the volunteer opportunities, things people can do to get involved, but it always revolves around kids giving back, volunteering, and things you can do in the community. Okay. Now, I might say that if you have a choice, mm -hmm. uh, you can get much more involved much more quickly on the Friday meeting. Mm -hmm. But like as Brad said, not everybody can do that. Right. And so KAD, which is the Qantas After Dark, okay. we try to involve as much as we possibly can. But when you're doing it once a month, it's different than doing it once a week. Mm -hmm. But those, those folks are involved. I mean, they're, and they're, they're anxious to be a part of the club. And so we didn't, we deliberately did not organize it as a separate club. Okay. All those members are members of our Ventura Kiwanis, and they have all the rights and privileges that we have, and they, we do things in sync. Good. Um, if you could please share your website with us, I'd like our viewers mm -hmm. to get more information uh, from your website, should they would you know, be a member or volunteer, uh, even donate. Sure, any of it. If you want to join, if you want to volunteer, if you want to join as a member, if you just want to come for a free lunch mm -hmm. and learn a little bit more what it's about, VenturaKiwanis.org. Okay. If you can't remember that, Google Ventura and Kiwanis, K-I-W-A-N-I-S, Ventura Kiwanis, and you'll find us. Poinsettia Pavilion on Fridays at noon. Just show up. Just be there. Just show up and we'll, we'll <laughs> buy you I'd lunch. I'd be glad to have you be my guest. <laughs> That's right. right. So That's uh, very good. have you got any interest in a service club? <laughs> Absolutely. And I think a lot of people will after they see you guys on the show. They're going to love it. That's great. But I thank you so. so much, both of you, Brad and uh, Bart. Bart, thank you so <laughs> much. I mean, I, I am so happy that both of you got to join us today on the show. Our pleasure. And share so much about Kiwanis with all of us. Thank, thank you, you again. Thank you, Sandra. And thank all of you for joining us on Arventura TV. I'm Sandra Cepak. See you next time. Bye, everyone.